I don't want to see you fish again. The fishing is getting excessive. I know. Fishing is something that I can film that I don't have to show my face a lot. Fishing is something that I can show that is a distraction for my kids, for myself. Um, fishing, I don't have to talk about how I'm feeling or anything and it takes me out of my current reality. Fishing is something that I don't have to narrate. So I know, I agree with you. Why are you deleting comments? We are not stupid. We know you're deleting comments. You're not hiding anything from anyone. If you weren't guilty, you wouldn't be deleting comments. You know we're right and that's why you are. I'm deleting comments because you teach people how to treat you. And the comments are speculation. The comments are people not having all of the information and so naturally they fill in the gaps. And I, I've done that myself when I don't have all the answers. My mind tries to fill in all the gaps and all you do is um, create nonsense. And um, the reason I understand this is because I know you're trying to make sense of something that doesn't make sense. You're trying to figure out how something so horrible could happen when it should never have happened in the first place. So I understand why people are doing the things that they're doing. Um, I'm deleting comments because you don't get to treat me the way you're treating me in the comments. It's unfathomable to me to berate someone for their religion. I, I wouldn't ever think of doing that. We were driving down the street and saw um, a bunch of people wearing their yarmulkes, children, um, their dads, and my kids asked me, what are those? Why are they wearing those? I simply explained that that was part of their religion. And it was a really beautiful thing to see someone believe in something. I have never, and I will never, get on the internet and comment on someone's body. <laughs> it's just, I, I couldn't imagine how someone can do that because I know there isn't a person out there that isn't worried about the way their body looks. Um, and so this person that has at some point in their life worried about the way their body looks then turns around and berates someone over the way they look. <laughs> I've got it from every spectrum. I'm deleting comments because they don't deserve to be on my space. There are enough spots on the internet that you can go to and comment whatever you would like. But on my page, you don't get to do that. All the comments wanting to know if I've seen the photos, if I knew beforehand, if I, I mean, it, like it's taunting. And I like, I just can't fathom doing that to somebody. You're not saying anything about what's going on. That means you don't care. My brain can't even put together its own thoughts. I, there is no words. And I will not talk about them for so many different reasons, but, but on top of everything, I will not talk about them because there is no one closer to being my own children than these kids. And yes, I knew everything that was shared in the media before the media knew and I don't know what's worse finding 
most of it out all in one day, you only know what's been approved to share with the media. All of those blocked out spots in the journal, all of the journals that she had that didn't necessarily pertain to the criminal case, all of those, you know a fraction, you know a fraction. And, and everything that I learned was just in little pieces, just little pieces along the way. So every day I have felt like this, every day I have felt haunted I did not see the photos beforehand so for all of you that have been sending them to me you really have done something there you're doing your due diligence me 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 I I I the only thing you care about is yourself this is not about you get off the internet I 100% know who the victims are. I 100% realize that I was not the one tortured. I see so many um, comments. Trigger warning, this is difficult to watch. Trigger warning, um, or if you need help after seeing this, make sure you get help. Make sure you're taking care of yourself all these compassionate strangers for each other. But if I say anything about how it's affected me, I'm selfish, I don't care, it's all about me. I know I'm not the victim. I have been directly affected. <laughs> I, I, I can't think of a way that I'm not affected by it. And I know that people will just rip that apart. That's just the reality of it. That's, that's the truth. How can you pretend like nothing is happening and go on posting? Um, I think it's just my defense mechanism. Being away from everyone and everything and turning my phone off is an escape. And that feels good momentarily at times. There's literally nothing I can do. And the reason I move forward is because I have hope that those kids, they showed a lot of fight. They didn't just stop fighting and just, they kept their fight in them. And if they can do that during their torture, they can come out the other side. And I think, and I hope that they will have a normal, as normal as they can, this will, change them forever all of them all six of them just because all six of them weren't in that room I want the very best for all of them and they're all gonna need a lot of a lot of help I want to be very clear that I do not support Ruby she doesn't need mercy. She doesn't need justice. She needs a jail cell. And I, I, I can't even think, I can't even think beyond that. I believe in justice and mercy and I think both of those come in time. I think that the mercy needs to lie at the feet of the children, not at Ruby's. And and that's where I stand on that. I'm so self-conscious about saying anything about myself because the only thing that has been jammed down my throat is how selfish I am for saying how it's affected me. But strangers on the internet can talk about how this has affected them and they're so sad and oh, this makes, I can't believe this is happening, but, but I feel like I'm not allowed to say any of those things. Um, I physically get ill when my kids accidentally get hurt. I physically get ill when I see their feelings get hurt. I feel like I go into panic mode a little bit. And, and, and as soon as I do, 
all I can see and hear are the hundreds of comments that I'm deleting saying, you're just like her. It's like my main point that I wanted to say was that I wanted to speak to um, the people that care because the people that have been mean don't get, they don't deserve that time and energy from me. But it, it is just, it's just the reality. And so I, I wanted to address it. Um, and the only reason that I feel even the slightest bit brave enough to say anything at all or to keep posting, saying the nice comments, that just doesn't do it justice. Those that, that hear what I'm saying without me actually saying it, people that actually care and actually feel bad for the situation and not not dissecting it and picking it apart and just understanding that there is so much more to it than what's being shown and said i just i think i just had to say something and share a little tiny piece of my heart for those that actually care and i don't even need you to care i, I like i don't need you or want you or I'm not asking you to leave nice comments I just I don't know I just I just had to say something and I know it's so pathetic to get online and cry but the whole point was to show to show how we live to show and this is just life there are so many ugly sides to life and it's just not always cute. It's not always pretty. It's not always nice. And I just physically couldn't just keep going. Like, I just... It's just all too much. And honestly, I think a big reason that I just keep doing what I'm doing because there are so many people that deal with so much trauma, real trauma in their lives and real sadness and real heartache. And you all keep going. There's no other option. <sighs> There's no other option. If you can do it, I can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Why do I feel like I need to say I'm sorry? Why do I... I know I'm not doing it right. I know... I know I could do it so much differently. I just... I don't know how. I'm just doing what I know how to do. I'm just being myself and I'm just saying what I'm thinking and there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with just trying, I guess. I don't know. I'm sorry for getting on the internet and crying. I don't know. <laughs> thank you for being compassionate towards my family and caring about us. And thank you for reading between the lines of what isn't being said between my forced smile. I'll tell you what it does show me though, is that I really do care about who is on the other side of this camera. I care that this is how other people feel. Different situations, but I it matters to me. How other people feel, the sadness that they go through, that matters to me. Deep in my heart, I know that the kids will be okay. I do. I think it's going to be a really long road, but I think they're going to be okay. And I think I'll be okay. And I think my family will be okay. I don't know how to end this, so I'll just end it there. <laughs>